Hi, this is Gary DeBach of Puyallup, Washington, USA, and I'm going to be giving a demonstration here of the new 3-inch VAR FSL. Uh, this specific model is designed to be airport friendly, in other words, to quickly and easily pass through TSA security checkpoints at major airports. Uh, in order to accomplish this, instead of using the ring of ferrite rods, which might resemble a ring of dynamite to a security agent. It uses the very thin, flat, 3 millimeter thick Russian surplus ferrite bars of 100 millimeter length. So as you can see from the side appearance here, if someone was looking at this, they would even uh, doubt that it would have any dangerous looking ferrite at all. There's just a very thin flat ring of ferrite here. Uh, mostly it looks like a coil and variable capacitor. So um, despite the fact that the ferrite is very thin, this model has equivalent gain to a ferrite rod model of the same length uh, as determined in FSL design experimentation. So anyway, um, and I give a little bit of a description here. As you can see, the uh, medium wave coil for this model just about maxes out the length of the 100 millimeter long ferrite bars. And this is the highest sensitivity Litz wire, the 1162-46. So despite the fact that this FSL antenna is extremely small and lightweight, it delivers the absolute maximum inductive coupling gain for something this small. And I'm going to demonstrate this here in a second. Uh, put the antenna here and pull out my stock Eaton Traveler 3 model. Once again, this is the most sensitive ultralight radio tested on the medium wave band. Um, fully reviewed in the 2015 ultralight radio shootout. And my target station here around local noon is going to be 750 KXTG, which is a 50 kilowatt station about 160 miles to the south. This is uh, a station in Tigard, Oregon, which is a suburb of Portland. And I'm here in Puyallup, Washington. Um, quite a challenging daytime DX signal. So let's see what the stock... Traveler 3 can do all by itself. Well, not too much. I get uh, some static. So let's see what the uh, tiny 3 inch bar FSL antenna can do on this challenging daytime DX fringe station. Okay, I just tuned the FSL antenna, which is a razor sharp adjustment. And I have one more adjustment to make the inductive coupling range. Okay, so my little 3-inch bar FSL antenna has now boosted a signal which was S0 up to about S6, S7. And uh, I'm going to show you what happens when I tune the FSL a little bit off frequency. And the signal's completely gone. Uh, 
Well, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll show you what happens when I take the radio away from the FSL. And once again, it's gone. Okay, so I've uh, given the demonstration of the inductive coupling boost. Let me turn the radio off here a second. Uh, this is the first of a series of small, lightweight FSL antennas which are designed to get through TSA security checkpoints. Um, and the nickname for this uh, design series is going to be the Frequent Flyer Models. Uh, there's going to be this 3-inch bar FSL and also a 5-inch and a 7-inch. So the design goal behind all these is to finally allow the FSL antennas to be taken on long-distance trips. Uh, hopefully the plan will work out great. So this is the first of these models, and uh, you can see how they perform. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.